wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. to God. Praise the Lord. Saints, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, we are just excited and waiting to hear from the Lord, from our dear sister, Janet. Praise the Lord as God uses her to just minister a word to your spirit, to your heart. We thank you for the anointing that flows down in the name of Jesus. And what her belly, rivers of life, planted by the rivers of water to bring forth fruit in its season. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray and we thank you, Jesus. Amen. description is full of love. His original plan is for us to stay close to him, but the sin of a man drew us away from God. But God was not moved. 
It is us who moved away from God. His original plan still remains. And that's why he sent his son. That's why we are celebrating these moments. Because of his original plan. He still remains on the throne. And he's calling you. And he's calling me to the same garden full of fruits, joy, and happiness. Abraham had some ups and downs, the lack of a child, and he went all the way with Haggai, you know the story. Abraham is seen as the father of faith, those who are faith, the, father, the heroes of faith, he's the father of them. However, Abraham was never circumcised. And God called him before the circumcision. Circumcision was to fulfill the law in Israel so that he can meet the standards of Israel. But God called him before he was circumcised. And then he became circumcised. So Abraham is the father of those who met the law and those who were not qualified to meet the law because he was called and regarded as a, as a father of faith before he was qualified with the law. David, a man of God, a psalmist, a man I love, and I envy his heart, one of the great kings of God. He messed up the family of Uriah. But God did not leave him. God still walked with David. And even now it doesn't matter. Because the law cannot save you and cannot save me. The law is there to make us see when we go wrong. But it's not there to qualify us. And that is the beauty of those who are called by God. Because we enjoy the freedom of not being under the law, but being above the law and law falling in place because we are in the right position. That is the beauty of being a Christian and being a child of God. David, after moving out of the way, he wrote the Psalms in Psalms 32. He still wrote the song. So I will read from Psalms 32. I'm born again this morning, and my family is well and kept by God. I thank God for them. From Psalms 32, I'm reading from Life Application Bible, NLT version. Oh, what a joy for those whose disobedience is forgiven, whose sin is put out of sight. Yes. What joy for those whose record the Lord has cleared of guilt, whose lives are lived in complete honesty. In verse 1 and 2, David is rejoicing, but this is after messing with Uriah's family. But he went back to the Lord and seek the face of the Lord. And he said, God, here I come. I've done this and this. May I have your mercy, my father. It is with humble heart that David was able to humble himself before the Lord. And at this moment, he's enjoying the freedom in the kingdom of God. That just tells us that God is able to forgive. It doesn't matter the magnitude of the sin. It doesn't matter the magnitude of what you're going through, but God can bring back things together. Amen. And David here is writing with joy. Even though somebody is dead. Even though somebody's integrity has been interfered. Even though somebody's mourning because they don't have a husband anymore. If today something like that would happen to us, it's something that we'll never forget. 
For sure if you take away the man behind me or ahead of me, something that will leave me. And David is finding joy in that situation. God is not a man. He forgives. He forgets. He clears the record. And that's why David is finding joy. In verse 3, when I refused to confess my sins, my body wasted away and I groaned all day long. Day and night, my hand of air, uh, your hand of discipline was heavy on me. My strength evaporated like water in the summer heat. Finally, I confessed all my sins to you and stopped, right, and stopped trying to hide my guilt. I say to myself, I will confess my rebellion to the Lord, and you forgive me, all my guilt is gone. That is the power of humility in our hearts. That is the power of confession when we live in it. Sometimes we do things, we engage in things that for sure we cannot stand in front of people and boast about it. Sometimes we engage in things that they draw us away from the Lord. The Lord is calling us to be. That time, it was David and God. But today, somebody said today, we are rejoicing of the grace of God. Through Jesus Christ. We are rejoicing of the grace of God. Through Jesus Christ that our sins were forgiven on the cross and God's plan is being fulfilled because he accomplished the mission of having Jesus Christ coming on this world and having our records being clear. Some of us, we don't worship the way we used to worship because sin has put us away from God. Because the heartbreak in our hearts has put away from God. There is God in heaven. There is God in heaven. And through Jesus Christ, your sins are forgiven. Amen. Approach the, king, uh, the throne of God with boldness. Some of us, we are afraid. We don't want to offer ourselves food because our back is eating us. The lives we lead. But you say, yes, dear Lord, I come. It is not by our works that we are saved, but it is by grace of God. Somebody learn to rejoice the grace of God. Somebody learn to appreciate themselves. It doesn't matter whatever things you have gone through. It doesn't matter whatever yesterday you did. It doesn't matter whatever today, this morning you did. But bring an expectant heart to God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. Amen. All the ways that make us right with God, they make us right with men. Mm -hmm. All the ways that make us right with God, they make us right with the Lord. And they make us right with men. Mm -hmm. And it's always a game when you fall into the right track first with God. Mm -hmm. uh, Paul is talking so much about this in the book of Romans chapter number 4. I want to read Romans 4 from verse 10. Let me start 9. Now, is this a blessing only for the Jews? Let me start 7 so you understand what it means by this. Oh, what a joy for those whose disobedience is forgiven, whose sins are put out of sight. Yes, what a joy for those whose record the Lord has cleared of sin. Now, is this a blessing for the Jews? Or is it also for uncircumcised Gentiles? Well, we have been saying that Abraham was counted as righteous by God because of his faith. But how did this happen? Was he counted as righteous only after he was circumcised? Or was it before he was circumcised? Clear. God accepted Abraham before he was circumcised. Circumcision was a sign that Abraham already had faith 
and that God had already accepted him and declared him to be righteous. Even before he was circumcised, so Abraham is free to a father of those who have faith but have not been circumcised. They, have, they are counted as righteous because of their faith. Abra and Abraham is also a spiritual father of those who have been circumcised, but only if they have the same kind of Abraham and before he was circumcised. Praise God. Amen. You see, after meeting all the qualifications, the only way that Abraham was made right it is through accepting the light of God. And that is when he was termed as qualified and for truly a hero of faith. And his faith was, was reasonable. And that is what made him get into the book of God, the Bible. I don't know how is your faith in God. And I don't know how you compare your faith in God and the Lord. And your past. But there is grace today. For it is not by our works, it is not by our good deeds, but it is by pure faith of Jesus Christ in our lives Amen. that we can be able to be counted. And that is the only way to make right in our lives. And when things are falling apart, Go back to your ways. Are you right with the Lord Jesus Christ? Mm. Are you truly serving? Do you really have faith in Jesus Christ? Because some of these things we struggle with because we don't have faith. And we are trying to push them ourselves for them to be fixed. Mm. And when you see you pushing things to be in the right order, it shows like you have either fears that things are going to fall apart, and every day that's how we live. Mm. And that's the beauty of the word of God because we can apply it in our lives. In our lives today, we always try to push things in right order. Even myself, even you, you put things in order. You wake up very early in the morning, you put your things in the right mind. And you work so hard because it pays, right? That was my motto when I was in primary school. Hard work pays. Mm -hmm. Until I became a Christian. And I knew hard work is good, but the Lord Himself by His masses and grace pays. And I live each day by His masses. And before I fight the law, before I fight my way to be right with human beings, you fight your way first in heaven. As I was saying, you try to put things right way. You meet all the qualifications of the law. You attend to church very early in the morning. You do all these things. Have you drawn your heart really close to a level where David did when she was forgiven? Have you really been able to sort the hand of God, the face of God, the masses of God, the grace of God to make you go through the situations that are sorrowful, that are hurtful, but you're finding joy because of the grace of God. Because everybody on your shoulder is off. Because of your faith. What faith does, it doesn't make things light for us. It gives us hope. And hope of future gives us the strength to keep the momentum moving. The people who do athletics, eh? I, I ever tried, but I can't keep up. Eh? But the people who really make it, they start from very far. They never see But at the back of their mind, they always know there is at the end point, there is somewhere that I have to touch. There is somewhere, so I don't care of where I'm coming, but my focus is where I'm going. Hallelujah. They are not kept there by faith. Only there is hope Amen. and assurance that that thing, there is integrity, there is justice, there is nothing will be moved. Amen. And the Lord we serve is God of justice. Yes. He's not only fair, he's just. He will not adjust his ways. Mm. So keep on moving. Amen. Don't worry with the Lord. Hallelujah. When things are falling apart, push, yeah. move, yeah. have faith. Yeah. 
Trust more. Let your hope keep you moving. When you feel like you're falling in the group of Gentiles who are uncircumcised, when you feel you are being categorized as those people who don't qualify, tell them you're in the training. Tell them only that you have not reached the end of the race. Because the end is coming. Yes. And tell them he who is in me yes. knows where the end is. Yes. I don't see it. Yes. Yes. I don't know where it is. But the person in me Hallelujah. can see the end. I'm not losing focus. Yes. It doesn't matter the category I'm in. Whether I'm seen as if I'm crooked. Whether I'm seen as if I don't follow the law. Or even I don't understand them. But the law is there to assure that I'm right Amen. and to give me confidence yeah. Yeah. that for sure I'm in the race. Yeah. Yeah. Why was Abraham regarded as righteous? He had a child outside, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. And I have Abraham so God face to face. Is it not ironical? Mm -hmm. And here, we, human beings, if you happen to have a child, we don't rest. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. We can't find peace. You had a child there outside. You did something with somebody. We can't find rest. But David, doesn't matter how many people are in the field for the battle. He's enjoying himself. And he's saying, yes, I've touched the hymn of God. And we are saying this morning, yes, we are going to touch the hem of Jesus Christ. And we are going to say, yes, it is done. And every yoke on our body, every sin affiliated with us, every law that has been kept and we cannot meet the standard. Jesus Christ came and broke it. Jesus. Jesus. From my tradition, and I know many people come from my tradition, there are some laws that until you become a great woman, you meet those laws. Eh? You take so many things from where you came from. Most of them, they, they are okay. But there are people who want to put so many laws. Some of them as Christians, they are challenging to us. And the people who do this, they are not people you cannot sit down with to talk. They are seniors. They have a lot of integrity. Yeah. What do we do when we are faced with things that we don't seem qualified, that we cannot handle, that they are beyond us? Do we really seek the face of God? If people were given a chance to deal with David at that moment, he would have stood him there. But his status as a king would have said he yes. And yes, it did. He wasn't strong. But his guilt, the conscience in him, was killing him. And he's saying, day by day, I get weak. And sometimes, as Christians, we can see you here dancing, we can see you walking, but you know you are in a man. I think getting weak and weak and weak. But I came this morning to tell you there is hope. In Jesus Christ. Amen. And there is the end of every journey. Amen. And that's why we say he's Alpha and Omega. Amen. And when you see your goodness is coming to end, your qualification is being disqualified anymore, there is the Alpha. Amen. The end of your qualification oh, yes. is the beginning of another qualification. What would it be again of you remaining righteous, never getting into things like Abraham met himself with, or even David, and then miss the kingdom of heaven? You're not righteous. You didn't do anything bad. You are just there. You don't know whether you are warm or you are cold. You are trying to fit in the law of which you cannot really do everything. But the grace of God lifts you up above all the waves, above all those laws, and laws comes falling down into place. Hallelujah. Praise God. I don't know how many people are struggling with things this morning. 
trying to be categorized where you think is right. Trying to be the person you think is right. Trying to do good according to you when you sit down, the reason and plan you think is right. But God is the one who codifies us. God is the one who equips us according to his purpose, according to his will. Do not be afraid. Do not be shaken by the things you see. Do not be even driven away from the will of God simply because you are not meeting what somebody in your life what your paper and pen have described as being good or qualified. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come to Jesus Christ. It is on the cross that it was paid off. It is on the cross that everything was laid aside. And you walk free and free indeed. But confession is a great thing. Confession is a great thing. It doesn't matter. Our God, when we go close to him and we tell him, Father, Jesus, this is what has happened. God have mercy upon him. They are new every morning. Somebody said they are new every morning. This morning they are new. They are going to apply to your life. They are going to apply to your situation. And things going to be light on your side. And things going to start flowing on your side. And I'm saying this morning somebody will start experiencing something new. A new grace. A new mercy. A new breakthrough in Jesus' name. And you're going to be called qualified by those who have named you as unqualified. Praise Jesus. I have sat down with men. All the men. Those people who ask for those things will want to be qualified to be with me. Yeah. And they looked at me and they thought, you are not qualified. Mm. Exactly. You know you keep quiet, huh? Yeah. Inside me, I was boiling fire. Not for them. Because God kept on encouraging me. Yeah. But one of my... He called me later that evening and he told me, I'll say, Maito. Then he calls me like my mama. It's, it's a lovely. Maito. That's pray for what we take, we don't We don't throw up, right? And I knew God has done something in their hearts because the qualifications they wanted for sure, even today, I cannot meet. And I knew I was disqualified in all ways. Especially when I said, I don't feel comfortable with this. I don't want this to apply in my life. And then, you are so young to start being stubborn. And yes, because I'm young, but the story that is in me, it's over 2,000 years behind. And that's why I'm young, but the story in me is really in 2,000 years ago, and it's going to rule forever. It doesn't matter. My age is not a qualification. My height is never a qualification. Praise God. My height is never a qualification. Jesus Christ is the qualification. Somebody say hallelujah. The story in your life is your qualification. The law is not your qualification. I desire to humble my life and my heart and and draw close to God so God can qualify me yes. in a way. I don't know how many of those you have touched mm. and you cannot qualify them. Mm. I have touched many. I have touched many. I have touched many. I have worked on those that I'm knowing that I'm going down. But on my path down, something whispers to me, you are a child of God. No human being can qualify. Nothing can qualify. It's only God. Because our minds, they follow under rules. Even as who we preach here, we follow under so many rules. You sit down, you write so big scriptures, these are the rules, I'm going to do this, but this one minute. God says, you know what, put away your stuff aside. 
This is the will of God. Amen. Stop struggling in your life. Stop pushing hard in your life. Push hard to God. Bring your heart to God. Talk more to God. Oh, offer your heart to God. Let God guide you. Let God lead you. Hallelujah. Praise God. David seek God with all his heart. He committed his ways, whether they were good or bad. In the valley and on the mountain. Because he was in the battle, he committed his ways to God. However, David was not even qualified. What were the questions when he was going to fight Goliath? This little boy, the shepherd boy. How many times have you been seen like that David? You can say that David, you know, but you know that David is the right king in the eyes of God. How many times have you been seen like what is the issue with you with these little stones? What can you do with those little stones? What qualifications do you have? You have seen that. You have lost your way. You never went to school. You don't have enough money. You don't have good this and that. Oh, I have a great thing. You have a million of them. I have one great thing. Disqualify everything else in me. But I have one thing that can disqualify all of those things you qualify. Praise God. Hallelujah. Somebody is struggling with qualification yeah. and the law, yeah. defending yourself, yeah. fighting for yourself. Yeah. Say enough is enough. Yeah. I'm not going to defend myself anymore. Yeah. But the grace and anointing of God yeah. will take part. Yeah. 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 And that is the point that David went. Yeah. I know the consequences might be there of his actions. But he found mercy. Yeah. And even today, I want to encourage somebody. You feel you're in the wilderness? You don't know what to do? You are just there? The masses of God are going to make you be real there. The masses of God will lift you up. The grace of God will make you go through there. Where you think the ways are closed. Where you think you're not qualified. The grace of God will open those doors. Have faith. Have hope. Be encouraged. Do not let the noise disrupt you. But keep focused. For whoever is in you. You say yes I do. Whoever is in you. Is the ruler. Is the king. It's a moment like now. We are celebrating this battle. It's a commemoration. Let your faith be rejuvenated. Let it grow more. Yeah. Let it shine. Yes. If your faith is being weakened, start speaking to God right now. If you feel you have doubt, like Abraham, you know, I think Abraham at some point was a confused man. You are called a man of God. You cannot give bad. They are telling you you are giving bad. Your wife is getting old. What kind of confusion is that? Again, your wife is agreeing you to go outside. You did. You came back with a child. And now God want to qualify you. A lot of things. And the same way we go a lot of things. God is telling us this, but this is on our way. Does it mean God is changing? No. Abraham ended up being the father of the nation. Yes. And even yes. us today, we are not suffering as Gentiles. For the Gentiles are enjoying the same grace. Even if you are junior, even if you are senior, you are disqualified. You don't meet the standards. You are somebody to be told, move at the back. These ones are reserved for somebody. Move at the back. These ones are reserved for somebody. The same grace that made the old man have children go through the barrenness situation is the same that we carry you on. The same breakthrough that he went at old age and was able to conceive and become the father of the nation.
generation is the same grace that you can Somebody tap this place. As we finish, I want you to finish strong. I don't want you to finish with me. I want you to finish tapping the same grace in your life. And apply it. And seek the face of God. If there is anything in your life that is pushing you back, Something you committed, something you want to do, or you did and you ought not to. And sometimes when you do, you want to really go close to God. The devil is whispering to you. You know, the devil is very notorious of reminding us the past. <laughs> Which God are you calling? You can just do this. You can which, which God is that you are talking about? He is the accuser of the brethren. But we say no in our lives. I want us to stand up and go before the Lord. Overcome, overcome that voice behind you that tells you you are not qualified. That tells you, that reminds you you are a sinner. Walk with a new grace. And tell God, here, Lord, I come. Wash me in the blood of Jesus. Give me peace and grace in this situation. Lord, help me overcome this in Jesus' name. Lord, I say no more oppression. Because of the things that I did in the past. Because of the standards of this world. For we know this world will never like us because we are not meant to be here. This is just a journey we are going through. The diseases will not remind us that we are not here tomorrow. But the hope in Jesus Christ will make us go far. In Jesus' name. This is the anointing we are praying, God. This is the breakthrough the Lord we are praying. That we are not going to finish big Lord. We are not moving away from your will, Jehovah. We are not moving away from your calling, my Father. But we are staying strong in it.
position of church, my God. We commit it unto you in Jesus Christ, and we pray for your breakthrough in this. In Jesus' name, my Father. This family is going to experience peace, unity, and togetherness in the name of Jesus Christ. Anybody else who is in a situation of confusion, God, we pray for your anointing and your breakthrough.